Hi everyone. So we have already created our three work packages, which are civil works, finishing and MEB works, and then two task summaries of handover and project completion. All these are coming under IT building construction. So suppose if you want to collapse everything, you can just click on this triangle. Then you can click this back to expand everything. Suppose if you want to uh, collapse everything under finishing, you can click on this and you can click back to expand everything. So now we will be creating the WBS codes, which are nothing but your work breakdown structure code. Suppose, for example, this IT building construction is the main package under which civil works, finishing, MEP, handover and project completion is coming. So ideally, we can assign this particular IT building construction as some particular code, let's say one. Then civil works will be 1.1, finishing will be 1.2, MEP work will be 1.3, handover will be 1.4 and project completion will be 1.5. Similarly, site clearance should be 1.1.1 and so on. Uh, earth filling and flooring should be 1.2.1 and so on. So this is something called as coding. This coding we can uh, do with several permutation and combination of several uh, uppercase alphabets, lowercase alphabets, symbols, numbers and so on. So first of all, we'll have to add one particular column by right clicking here and going to insert column and you can choose WBS. So with this, you see some basic WBS coding has been generated, which I told you just now, but this coding is set by default. But if you want to change this coding, then you can change this too by going to this particular tab of project. And here you see an option of WBS. If you'll go here, there is an option called as define code. So for the WBS, you can define your own uh, personalized uh, code. Okay. So suppose if you want to keep some particular prefix, Prefix means the one that comes before something. So suppose this is an IT building project. So I will say ITC. ITC means IT building construction. So this will be my project code for the WBS. So this will come everywhere. Okay. So whatever you will mention, whatever editing you will do, this will be uh, visible as the code preview. The code will look something like what is mentioned in the code preview. Right now, there is only ITC because we have not personalized the levels. So first level is this one. This one which you can see is the first level. Then this point one is the second level. Then this point one is the third level. So usually we have three levels, but if you want, you can define four levels also. Suppose if you have something under brickwork, or maybe something under plastering, let's say one millimeter plaster, two millimeter plaster. So if you have certain levels under that also, you can define four levels, but we will keep it to uh, three levels only. So first level, let us keep it as numbered and let us keep the length as let's say two and the separator, let us keep as let's say dash. Okay. So right now you can see that ITC was there, but first level you have kept as two numbers, which is one, one by default separator will come into picture when you will define the second level. So let us say second level is our, uh, uppercase letters. Okay. We will keep the length as one only and separator. We will keep at keep as dot. The third level we will define as lowercase letters, let's say, and we will keep the length as, uh, one only and separator. We will keep something new, maybe plus sign. So you can see we have defined three levels and if we will click on, okay. Then you see the changes here. So ITC is the prefix everywhere. First level is our 01. You see 010101 is everywhere because we only have one main level of IT building construction. Then we have dash as the first separator. And then we have A. A is the uppercase that we chose for length one. Okay, A is here, B is here, C is here, D is here, E is here because we have five WBS under IT building construction. That is why A, B, C, D and E. Then under A, we have the separator as dot and then small a, B, C, D and E. Similarly for B, we have small a, B, C, D and E. For C, we have dot A and dot B. For D and E, we don't have further levels. Okay, so this is how we define the WBS code. If your changes are not being visible, then you can just go to renumber and for the entire project, you can renumber if suppose by chance the changes that you make are not visible, then you can click on OK. So it will ask you whether you want to make these changes to the entire project or no, you can click on yes. OK, similarly in the WBS only, you can also choose for some special